Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm here to do another patch update for The Sims 4 and today there's a new patch update the 2nd of February for the 17th anniversary of the game which is absolutely crazy. I cannot believe the game has been around for that long. So I'm going to give you an overview of what we've got in the new update today. There's two main things being a new redesigned main menu and they've also added a new t-shirt as you can see from this picture down here for all ages into the game as well. So we're going to take a look and create a sim to look at that as well. So um, they've also added added a couple of bug fixes and things like that but if you want to take a look at those then I'll leave the patch notes link down below so you can go and take a look at that in more detail. So let's take a look at the new home screen here. So um, we've got the, these buttons here which we've seen before, well this one. These two used to be the little plus and the save icon which used to be up here but now they're over here as words. Uh, we've got the play button like normal but it's now a smaller version and here this is something new which I really really like actually and this actually gives you like an overview of all the packs that you have. Now I have all the packs for The Sims 4 so this is what it looks like as it's completed um, and it just gives you an overview of what each one is about and if you click on them it'll take you here and just show you about all the different things that you get with the game including some screenshots here. It also shows you the items that you get in terms of creator sim which is really really nice and they also give you an overview of all the build mode items you get as well and I don't think no you can't click on these ones but it just give you picture like a picture overview of the things and it just tells you some game features and things like that so that's really really nice and um, so you got the play button like normally you can load your game saves you got new game which will take you into create a sim which you're going to look at now so we're now in create a sim and we're going to take a look at the new t-shirt also forgot to mention but on screen as well you also have the gallery icon and this normal button here which gives you your main menu uh, sorry it gives you your menu so you can look into the options and things like that which we had in the previous um version of the home screen so now we're going to take a look and create a sim like i said and look at the new t-shirt that we got so i'm just going to scroll through here and find it it'll probably at the top somewhere okay i might have a bit of trouble finding this but let's just scroll through and see if i can see it quickly um there it is right there so this is it doesn't have a special icon for it or anything it's just giving you a basic overview of the um the t-shirt here so let's take a little look at what we'll get with it so it just shows you some of the classic items and things associated with the sims that we'll all know so up here we've got the freezer bunny we've got the tragic clown the garden gnomes plum bob grim reaper we've got the llama, and um, we've got the alien adoption thingy, <laughs> grilled cheese, we've got a um, the bear thing that came with outdoor retreat, we've got the cow plant and there's so many more things and it's also on the pack as well and it also says 17 to celebrate the 17th anniversary of The Sims of course. So that is it with that on an adult and um, let's just change it up here. I wonder if I can actually just do it like this. Let's see what it looks like in a toddler. I think it'll probably change. Yes it does but you do get it with toddlers. Um, let's just go into tops and there it is there on a toddler. Exactly the same just scale down a bit as well. Uh, let's take a look on child on a, on a child um so let's do that i won't go through all of these because it's pretty self-explanatory but you can kind of get the idea i just want to give you a little overview of what it looks like on each different type of sim but i'm not going to do every single one so that's like that and let's just have a quick look at a male sim as well this also works for vampires as well so let's do that and is it going to change over to a male sim there we go and then oh <laughs> Sorry, I clicked. I'm getting a little bit of lag on my game here actually. Um, so let's go back into here and find the t shirt so I can show you this as well. And there it is for the male sim. So it just looks exactly the same to be honest. And that is it for this video. That was very, very quick. It was just a small update, but it is very, very meaningful for the 17th anniversary of the sim. Sims I was going to say, oh no, maybe now because but sim history. So I hope you enjoyed this little overview. Let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions. L leave some thoughts down below in the comment section as well about what you think of the anniversary. I want to hear a bit about what when oh my god sorry when you started playing what's your favorite packs and things like that just tell me about your history with the sims and that is it so thanks for watching make sure you give this video a like share and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you all next time bye